I'm honestly so tired. I stay up till around 2.30 and then it was too dark for me to find my sleeping bag, so I slept without a sleeping bag. Bad idea. That was a really bad idea. So then I woke up right at the first light and I was freezing my bum off. So now I'm here walking along the beach for sunrise. Would you just look at it? That's amazing. Look at the thing behind me. That's amazing. That thing back there too, right over here. That's amazing. So here's my worry. I can never decide what I want to get when I'm in the store. I mean, you have so many options of the exact same thing. They expect you to choose a, just one of them, but my paychecks only allow me to buy one thing. See, here's the interesting thing. Every time you go on road trips, you burn through more food than you could ever imagine. We're in the store more often than we're adventuring. Pretty much I just get overwhelmed and... I just help restock the food. Like my new friend here, John, restocking mayonnaise. I don't even like mayonnaise. My friend John, he's from Mississippi, and he's giving me the grand tour of this lovely place. We're going to aisle seven. Yeah, I think that's four right there. Awesome. I'm learning the ins and outs of the store. It's not too interesting, but yeah. It's awesome. We're like on the TV show Most Dangerous Eats. All right. Nice meeting you. Have a good one. So now I've realized I don't know where my friends are at. Um, I think that enough time has passed that they're probably back in the car with all the stuff that they bought already. And I'm coming back empty handed. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. Yeah, they're waiting in the car. I am now labeled that one child that always gets lost from the rest of the pack. I was helping John! We're just about to pull into the Redwoods. David has his head out the window. He loves this place. So we're about to take one of the coolest shots ever. I don't know if it's really the coolest, but I really like it. I'm Gray Anderson, what's your name? Rit Dog. Right. Oh yeah. You spit a rap? You can Ritty, rap? Ritty Rit 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 Rit. I am the Magnificent. I spit there. I said like it's 365. I said Christmas is the Belitter Rit so my new friend Sean can spit some pretty sweet raps. So we passed the Redwoods and the lighting is absolutely horrible. So then, what's the only logical thing we can do? Go paddle boarding. I honestly can't believe that I just lived through that. This was my second time ever paddle boarding. And to be honest with you, I was a little bit scared. When I, once you got out there, the waves were so big, so big that it's like not the crashing kind of waves that you ride in the very end. Out there, the waves were big and rolling. You turn to the side, you'd have been toast. David told me to give it a go. So when I got out there, I had to time it just right. So when I was way the heck out there and I thought that I was gonna die, turned around, that I would do it fast enough before the next wave rolled through. And well, normally, this is where the story ends, where like, you made it out there, you did the cool thing, and you came back in. But I got out there, and when I started to get pushed back in, huge waves started to push me in faster and faster. So fast, I started to surf them. And then so I raised my arms out like I was a majestic goddess, and then do you know what happened? I ate it. I ate it so bad. <laughs> I flipped over, and the wave took me under. I thought I was gonna die. And I'm no pro surfer, but... I don't know who could have survived that so hard and then I had to hold my paddle out because the only thing I fear more than clowns and girls are sharks. So I was holding my paddle out to the side hoping that if a shark came it was going to eat the paddle and not me. Finally I swim in and I see David and Callie and I instantly have to put on my tough face because I have to act like it didn't hurt. So now heading to our campsite to see if we need to go find firewood or not. We didn't find the firewood. And now the light's good, so we're amongst all the big giants. Look at these guys. Look at him. I think that one's Frederick. This guy back here. And walking in the redwoods. Yes. <laughs> Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. I feel like I'm recording the whole ambiance of this place a little bit too bright. The redwoods to me are really a, a, a very moody place. So I'm gonna change my whole vibe to this place and 
We're gonna make you feel what I'm feeling right now. So just another heads up, two ways to go right now. I don't know which way to go, and I also haven't seen anyone in like the last 15 minutes, so. I always guess the wrong 50-50 option. So I'm gonna go with the other 50-50 that I didn't think was right, and hopefully that wasn't the wrong one. <laughs> There's still no one. I don't know where everyone is. So I'm just gonna keep hiking because if you don't see anyone or you don't hear anyone, you obviously have to go in the right direction, right? I mean, that's the only logical thing to think. If you never know you're wrong, you're always right. Look, we all got lost. Guys! We all got lost again! This is day two! This is a really funny thing. We all were separately apart and we all made the exact same wrong decision. Even when I thought about it twice, and I made the opposite 50-50 decision that I thought was right. I should have went with my, with my first 50-50 decision. But I went with the second because I thought it was right because the first one was wrong. But I should have went with the first one. Wait, aren't we going this way? No. We're back here at the split. And now we're going to go this way. <laughs> so we started to run. We're losing the light and we're not going to miss it today. We really just ran all the way down that, and we're solidly in magic hour now. We feel like this is the last bridge. Hopefully we make it because we can't do this two nights in a row, but I feel pretty good about this. Look at all this shrubbery. All right, here we go. Here it is. Oh my goodness. I'm taking her up. Two. We went the wrong way and honestly we found it. It was worth the running and now we just have to go walk back. I love that we made it!